All right, after scanning the little paper that came in this thingy, I'm going to open the PDF in Silhouette Studio. As you see, it's the whole bedding, it's like all of it, but that's okay. What I am going to do is come over here to the right and in my trace panel, I'm going to select trace area. And I'm going to raise this threshold all the way. Now what I should have actually done, reverse that. Eh, okay, we'll go there. We're gonna trace and detach. Erase this. Okay, I don't know what happened there. That was a glitch, but we're gonna continue on. Take the trace by color and we're gonna take off this blue. Raise your tolerance all the way up until it covers it completely. That's about fair. No, no, lower it down one more. Trace and detach that. And it should come right off. Now I'm going to come right back because I'm going to actually measure the sheet to see what size it is so that I can size it. I want you to take note that if you are placing what you're cutting on the inside of this um, then you do it the exact size of the sheet. But since there is a plastic offset on the cup from the inside to the outside, if you plan on sticking it to the outside of the cup like um, the other Dollar Tree cups, then you would need to make it a hairline bigger, okay? I'd say about a half an inch bigger so that the two ends meet. All right, so I'm gonna measure this and be back. 8.8 by, <clears throat> excuse me, 8.8 .8 by four and a half. So this was not too far off um, from what it actually should be. I do believe that the four and a half is accurate. As you see, it's um, taken out the extra. So I just have to extend it I'm gonna go there. Um, oh, what is this? I don't know what the heck that is. We're gonna delete that. Oh, there's more. One second. I see. This is all the little fuzzies from the sheet. All right. So anyway, now that we got this, we are going to change it to a solid color black because they definitely don't need. Um, to have. I'm going to merge in here. One second. Shoot, I moved, I installed a hard drive and moved everything off my hard drive. Sorry guys, one second, cause I moved. No, I moved a lot of stuff, and I shoved it all. Lord, that one. Okay. Now, if you guys click out of this editing thing if you guys click on this and hit control at the same time it will automatically put what you have there 
Now I'm going to print one of these and then I'm going to duplicate, delete this. And then I'm also going to merge in Coco Malone coloring page onto that one second. That's pretty stretched, so we're going to skip this step. I got to find what I want to put on here. Uh, I got to bring that in without the, without all the extraness. But anyway, we're going to change this paper setting over here, guys. 8.5 by 11. This is just to pretty much test out um, to test out the template. Uh, I do see that this is actually pretty stretched a little. We'll see what it looks like when it prints. Overall, I'm just trying to see sizing. We're not printing this on the sublimation since it's going on the inside of the cup. I guess I could do the Sorry guys, I'm just working on it. All right, so I got to go into the printer. Be right back. All right guys, I've cut it by hand um, with the scissors. However, I do need to do 40 of these. So I am going to set them up on a mat and cut, uh, cut and print on the Cameo, depending on which one I'm doing. So I... For the outside, like I mentioned before, would be suicide. So, uh, so what we're gonna do is just kind of wrap this little guy up in here and put it in. It is fitting well. You want to place it towards the bottom and stretch. I am going to sublimate it on paper because when you sublimate on paper, it's just more shiny, more vibrant than printing off a regular pr printer paper. So what I am going to do is I am going to sublimate it anyway and keep the sticker on it just so that I have um, hold on. one side supposed to go behind the other and I already know which one in this case. because it has a lip it's very difficult to take it off Use cardstock, y'all. Y'all are go through. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you a few points, a few notes, so that way um, there's no issue because I did, I already did it. When you put it in, make sure that on the inside you have the right piece that you want on the top or at the bottom. I would say leave it to the size that the printer actually scanned it in because it was the actual size. 
it's a little bit bigger in the point of where I extended it but other than that if you want to take a piece of tape see this is where the vinyl would come in it would pretty much stay within itself but no harm no foul if you take a piece of tape a piece of glue and set it on the inside all right then you'll take Your other piece, you can either glue it, place some glue along the lip, and tighten it. I would use the Gorilla Waterproof Glue. Um, then you tighten it, and there you have it. Coco Melon Cup. Now, guys, I am going to do this where the lines align, because um, that bothers me. So... I'll have a template out here shortly. Just needs to one hairline. I would say about a quarter more. So right where the scanner had scanned it in, true to its size. So I am going to hit undo a couple of times to get that template and keep it at that. 